Puritia mai rā te tau rō te rangi ki a tēnā ki a wēnā ki a toke te mana wōra. Tēnā toke te mana wōra ki ue a tēnā toke te mana wōra ki runga ki raru ki wahu ki roto. Tēnā toke te mana wōra ki ue a tēnā toke te mana wōra anā ki koutou anō. E tū hono hono mai nei ki tō tātou nei hōtaka he tohu, he kohu kā dewa. Anā koutou e pai mahi nei ki te waka piripiri mai ki te mātake take mai ki tō tātou nei. Kou papa wiri wiri wakaaro wete wete i te kupu. Me tātere anō hoki i te kōrero o ngā mātua tuku i hunga. Kore rā nau mai harapa. Nā akāsi, rere huka huka atu rā te au o mai mai aroha ki ngā peka peka rere pō. Kei ngā tini mati o te wā, tēne anō hoki te angi angi nā te koromaki i koutou. Me takehi atu rā nā te ara maro o ngā mātua. Tēne anō hoki te rau aroha ki koutou e moi mai rā te moi au ai te moi e rā rā. Hoki tōra tika mai rā ki tātou te hā-hā whenua te hā-hā tangata nā mahara mai. Kei ngā toko tū moana e tū pakiri mai nei aakoa te ka apuku i mai rā o te hau, te ka rapiua mai rā o te ua, tū tonu, tū tonu nā mahara mai. Waka tau mai rā. Nā hara mai ki tō tātou nei hōtaka, he kohu kā rewa me te toko tūru anō rā te pai pai, te tūrango kōrero. Nā, kua tatu mai rā, Jamie Tuta, ko tahi tōna upoko, he tini ono pōtai, a ko aka nei ka mōhi o tātou, ko tēhe pōtai i tēnei pō i mau i āia i tēnei wā. Nā, tatu mai rā, kia Himi Sandrin, nā, he me pēnei, nō te wāhi nui te kanai, kaukau mai rā i te wai kā napa napa, tērā raukawa au ki te tonga tatu mai rā, ki te raukura e titi mai nei ki rungi i tō tātou nei maunga. Nō di rā, ko te pohi ke mō tēnei mehi kawake rā ki koutou. Anā e tēnei waka tuku atu rā te Māori kōrero. Kia Jamie Tuta, tēnā koe. Tēnā koe, kei te manu kōrero, te poi. Mihi mai ki ngā manu o te motu, o tino te ikaroa Māori e takoto nei, ta tu atu rā, ki te waipau namu, waka witi atu rā ki Waria Kauri. O reira, kia ui ui a mai rā, koutou ngā manu o te motu, ki tēnei pai kōrero, kia rongo, kia kite, i ngā huatanga e pāna ki ngā kōrero kai mui te aroaro. O reira, mihi ana kia koutou e te iwi, me te tautoko o ki ngā mii, kia rātou, kua riro atu rā ki ngā rārangi mātua i te pō, ko rātou kia rātou, maringa nui, ko koe te pōihi, O tino ko tātou he nei ngā kanuhi ora o rātou e kōkiri tonu nei i ngā kaupapa e wāwā tonu nei ngā kaupapa ki eke ki ngā taumata e tikāna. Kia puta anō rā tātou mai te mate ki te ora i roto i ngā tini kaupapa o te wā anō reira. Tēnā koe, tēnā rā tātou. Kia koe i. Ka pai e te poi, mihi mai nei ki tō tātou kaupapa e te pō. Tau toko ake nei ngā mihi i a kōrua ki te hunga kua mārewa ki ngā wai tuki tuki hui anō kia ko rātau kia rātau Tautoko anā e ngā mei ki te hunga kia koutou e wakarongo mai anā e noho nei ki tō tātau pāpā i te rānei kai te tika hoki te nei te kā napa napa tanga o ngā wai o te awa wai kanai e mei nei au kaua te au ki te tonga ngāti toa ki te tonga ati awa te au ki te tonga te nei e mei ake nei kia koutou Me te tika au koe o ngā kōrero ki tēnei tua ki a koe kemi, ko tahi te upoko nui ngā pōtai. Me te mihi huki ki a koe te pōhi. E rua ngā waiwai he nui ngā pūtu. Hoi anō tēnei e mihi ake nei ki a koutou e te iwi, e whakarongo mai nei ki a tātou. Me kore ki e pau ngā kōrero, hoi anō he kōrero, he timu timu ngā, he mara mara kōrero. A hei kai mā tātou i te pō nei. Whakaaro, hei tātari rā nei, mā tātou i te pō nei. Tue no, tō tātou kaupapa e mi iana, ngā mate e mi iana, rātou ki a rātou ko te hunga ki a koutou e whakarongo mai ana e mātaki taki mai ana tēnei tēnā koutou katoa. Tēnā kōrua, o te rā mehi kawake rā ki te kore mako o Taranaki, nā nā anō ki tēnei o ngā wakātū ranga i hāpai me te mōhiwa anō ki, Kaha te kore mako o Taranaki ki te waka haere i ngā neke neke hanga o ngā tapu tapu hanga rau, hua rau rau, nō di rā, mihi kawake rā. Nei anō hoki, 
te te waka kapi a ki te nei wahanga a pera pera ka huri ki te ki te reo ko tai mai ra na runga e nga kai tuke no reira te te na ko te welcome once again uh, to our uh, our hotaka e kohu ka diva um, it's a uh, program that we um, uh, that we uh, broadcast each Wednesday uh, from eight to nine, um, and uh, the objective of the of this um, forum is to just have a look at some of our kore ro tuku iho nga o nga mātua, uh, no, no te, te nui ngō nga kore ro taranaki yake, no tēnei takiwā, and uh, we're just going to uh, have a look at some uh, some of the karaki, some of the waka wai, uh, some of the waka taukitanga kore ro, um, uh, just to give, um, uh, hopefully, uh, some insight uh, into what are some of the meanings and uh, the general um, uh, core of what the, the messages are trying to share with the rest of us. So that's uh, that's us. Uh, we have Jamie Atuta, Hemi Sandra, and myself, Tepoihi Campbell. Uh, no reda. And uh, we'll just go to our first slide and um, we'll see what surprises us tonight. Oh, te tihi kara uh, kara kia tanga kore ro te rapea, a ka tuku atu ra uh, te rā ko kore ro kia Jamie. Uh, mana uh, ai timata ake te kore ro, uh, mo tēnei o ngā wāanga, tēnei o ngā kara kia tanga kore ro. Tēnā koe, Jamie. Oh, tēnā koe te pui. Uh, koe te anō. Um, uh, ko tēnei, uh, he kara kia tanga kore ro, he pui. Um, he rau e tēnei ki au, uh, nā te mea, kai... Uh, tēnei poi uh, te ora o te tangata uh, me ngā tohu nui uh, o ngā manu erua no roto ana mai rā i a pari aka. Um, and so, uh, yet again te poi e te wānau. Um, him and I sort of thought, given we've been talking um, a lot about some of our uh, karakia uh, tanga kōrero and our poi, uh, that it might be appropriate to... Um, to sort of dive a little deeper into uh, some of the origins of uh, the poi um, at Parihaka and uh, just talk to that. And we thought uh, there was probably no better place to start than with um, this example here. Hi ara te manu, ko taku poi te manu, hi ara te manu, ko taku ringa te manu, i wano ki reira titi ai, i wano ki reira ki te ai, I wano ai ki reira tutu mai ai te manu, watu pura tangata matu ai i a tāne, tahu nau mai ki a piri, nau mai ki a tata e hai. Um, and I thought, so, you know, just thinking about the kupu and the imagery here, hi ara te manu. Um, so, again, sort of, we just sort of talk about some of the symbolism and Im imagery. Um, it speaks about um, what, is the, what is the bird, what is the manu, but when we think about... Um, the sort of Māori uh, mind and and uh, view of and use of manu and the symbolism of manu, um, you know, it it sort of within it is sort of a key foundation of um, you know kotaku poi te manu. So it, it likens the poi to a bird, um, and you know we are familiar with um, the use of the metaphor of the manu nga manu korero, uh, he, he kai kawe inga korero. Uh, he karere, um, and so it is a likening um, the poi to a bird which is a messenger and um, I'll touch on the sort of manu elements and then I'll, I'll throw over to you Hemi um, and I think it's really important you know ki te ātou whakaaro tātou hiaha hiaha te ngā tohu me te mana o tēnei, uh, o tēnei mea te manu and um, you know, from my perspective, you know, manu are really important symbols because they engage the imagination of our tupuna, um, you know, with their song, uh, with their colours, with their beauty, um, and, of course, with their power of flight. Um, and, you know, manu also speak to our, and our symbolic of leadership. Um, and, of course, when we think about leadership, we think about the power of, of our kōrero, uh, we think about the the inspiration that leaders provide through dialogue, through discussion, through kōrero. Um, and, of course, you know, throughout time, we have likened our leaders to particular manu, whether it be, you know, mumuhau, takerito, uh, ngā manu kōrero, and all of those sorts of things. Um, and so, you know, those first two lines, uh, for me, really, hiahara te manu, <coughs> ko taku poi te manu. 
Um, so, you know, what is the bird or what is the messenger? Uh, my poi is the manu. And it gives us a bit of an insight into why our poi were described as ngā poi manu, nā te mea. Ko ngā poi nei, um, you know, embodied all of that sort of those foundational narratives, those that kōrero, uh, those messages of inspiration for our people. Ka tuku nā tu ki a koe he. Yeah, good point. Um, yeah, probably not too like too much to add or build apart from apart from the fact that there's a literal translation as you say, Jamie. You know, how uh, hard the money? What is what is this bird? The the that's the literal translation translation, but the the symbolic, I suppose, translation is saying what is the messenger? Now we've spoken quite extensively in the past few wānanga year. Uh, about the uh, context of Parihaka and the, the the trying and testing times that the people were going through at the time, kind of living under this uh, sense of oppression. And uh, I won't go so far as to say slavery, but definitely there's a um, you know this, this deep sense of oppression from punitive uh, legislation, from the way in which the government was behaving uh, um, towards the stance that, that the leadership of Pariaka was kind of asserting at the time. And so the people needed needed some symbols of liberation, if that's the right word, some symbols <coughs> of inspiration to to kind of uh, remove, to, to, to kind of transcend and move beyond uh, this heavy handed approach that the government was applying at the time. And then you've got the iwi, the people emerging from war and the way in which Pariaka was providing a salvation from war and bloodshed. And, and that kind of context, historical contextual information. And so, I mean, it, it, we keep saying this, right? Context is everything. So the way in which this, this poi has been uh, put together and structured is basically, a, you know, for me, it's presenting some real key symbols of liberation and, and inspiration to move beyond this, the, the such heavy and dark times. So when we, when we say, how hard are the money? What is, what is the symbol? Um, uh, and, and the response is kotaku poite manu. Mm. And so, I mean, I, I hear this and, in, in, um, you know, hear Milton, Jamie, te poi, mm. this was one of the meeting his favourite uh, taki taki uh, poi. I mean, he would do it often and he was such, so inspired by it because it was so simple, but the symbolism behind it was so powerful for the way in which it symbolised, you know, liberation um, thinking. And so, you know, literal translation, how hard are the money? What is the what is the bird or what is the messenger? Uh, it's the poi. The poi carries the message. Kotaku poi te manu. And when we explore and um, <clears throat> analyze and dive into some of the deeper meanings of, of the poi that were emerging from Poriaka, from um, the Tupuna in the south, the Wareaitu, the poihi, and others, um, um, ko, uh, uh, Pani, and um, those poi masters. Um, Aru'i Martini and all of them, Jamie from Mutunga, the, the poi that were being uh, uh, composed and configured at that time were all um, uh, applying these uh, symbols. And so, um, yeah, and inspiration and reference points for older quarter or that we've spoke about the last couple of weeks, right, being drawn back into this time, providing context, recontextualised, and then um, the people were singing them. Uh, so, you know, te manu, kutaku poi te manu. my poi is the messenger, my poi is the thing that carries the deep, deep um, uh, historical uh, inspiration and symbol. Um, he hara te manu, kutaku ringa te manu, my hand, my hand is the symbol of action and resistance, which we know they were doing. So the poi were carrying the messages, the, 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 the hand, our hands were symbols of liberation of action of resilience and the things that the people were carrying out at the time in response to the government's uh i say oppression uh, um, talks to the way in which which action and and things proceeded and were embedded into um uh, into the community i mean this is a kind of a liberal translation or an interpretation but um uh, these titiai and kitei also speak to the nature and personality of of, of birds too. Yeah? And so when we talk about titi, we're also talking about action. When we're talking about kete, we're also talking about dialogue and cordial. Of course. And um, so the last the last sentence, um, as I understand it, talks about 
um, the way in which our poi we're, we're kind of shedding these layers of um, ignorance. Te whati pura, te whati te pura tangata. Yeah. Um, so that poi, the poi, the action and the activities and the, and the works that were being kind of uh, inspired by the leadership at Parihaka at the time were providing a foundation and the basis for uh, for um, uh, liberation. Again, I'm not, you know, we can perhaps, um, but definitely providing some inspiration uh, and uh, uh, leadership from dark times. And of course, the last piece is quite simple. No mai kia piri, no mai kia tata. So that's my kind of build, boys. Well, I, I don't really have much uh, much to add, but you can see the um, the, the imagery used um, within this particular karakia structure, um, and the uh, the use of the uh, ifano ifano ki data was to be spread wide to mm. spread broad and to spread wide the message that is coming from the poi. Um, the the whatikura, uh, the tangata, the, the shedding of um, of that mamai that uh, has been accumulated by the context of the time. Kia tu, kia tu tu mai ai, uh, tangata. And the, really the bottom bit there, no ma, that talks to uh, being together and sticking together and to believe in uh, the messages that have been del been delivered by the poi. So that's the poi. He's very simple summary <laughs> of of this particular mm. karakia. But as we know that the karakia was used will come into Parihaka by the various um, poi teams, Anga Tima poi, uh, mm. from uh, Anga Nui, from uh, probably Rangitane as well. Um, and they come in like Pau Pau Kitarangi came in. We've got all the the teams from uh, Lati Mutuma and um, the various teams that came in. So there's plenty of waiata uh, that um, share the message, or they used the the the, the ropu uh, to share their message and to deliver their messages to each other to inspire each other. Uh, so yep. that's what what I see uh, from this particular karakia. So probably just a question uh, for you, Amy. Uh, when would you use uh, this particular um, karakia tanga kōrero? Oh, I, oh, I use it uh, as a as a hetau uh, mo te, te karanga i te, te tangata. Um, I mean, it's it's specific to Pariaka, of course, but I've used it uh, in that context. Ki te karanga i te tangata i runga i te mara ki karanga ti te kaupapa yeah. Uh, ke karangatia te tangata, um, kia piri, kia tata, ki te, te, yeah. ki te kaupapa o te rā. So, to, to come together. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Have you any, any more to add, Jamie? Well, he, he, he whakahau ne. Uh, uh, he whakahau. Nā te mea, kei roto, in, <coughs> kei roto in ngā kupu nei. It reminds yeah. us of uh, the role and purpose of the poi in terms of holding and transmitting those historical narratives and speaking about our lived experience and mm -hmm. so when you think about you know continually singing uh to tucky tucky these poor i mean it and with the beat um yeah. it provides a, a wonderful foundation to be able to provide that inspiration that strength um that resilience because through the poi it is reinforcing the corridor that we've been speaking about the last sort of eight or nine weeks. I mean, all of but a lot of that corridor, ngā karakia tanga corridor, are drawn mm. from poi, and mm. so you can really see the power of the poi in terms of, you know, kei te kite au iroto inga tu inga ko ngā poi manu ko te paipera te na te Māori, that they are likened our poi manu as our version of the Bible, right? Because yeah. um, when you think about the Bible, it's what we draw inspiration from those narratives, those lessons, those insights. Um, creation stories. Think, yeah. Creation stories, yeah. But the powerful thing for me, it reminds us that ultimately we are the messenger, um, that it, that we can, that it requires, as Hemi sort of put it, our action, um, mm. you know, titi, um, yeah. our voice, that we can give voice, if I know I data, and through action and voice, we can advance and we can move forward to ensure that we overcome challenges, but importantly, that those that are a bit blind and deaf to our ways of being and knowing can be put to bed. So 
that's why I love this. And, you know, and to Midinga, tika koe himi, I mean, you know, to Midinga really sort of um, brought life to this corridor for me. Um, and it's over the years, you know, it's just wonderful seeing this corridor also recorded in a number of other sources within, you know, various manuscript material of our people. Mm. Um, but it really, you know, and that's why I think, you know, Tohu and Te Whiti were, um, the poi is a powerful symbol, a powerful vehicle. Mm. And as I suppose, you know, the you know, there's a big corridor on its own just, just to talk about poi. But um, you know, every time that that poi has the tucky or the beat, that that almost physically reinforces the message, uh, the message within the cells of the human being. So I think it also has a practical, um, a practical component of using an action to reinforce a particular uh, a message. So the the poi, like you said, is is a powerful. Um, activity, if you want to call it that, but we know that you know uh, it's a little bit more new than that. Um, but oh, he, 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 he tapu ne, he tapu ingari, oh, he ingari, um, he mana to te poi, hayora mo te tangata, you know. Um, it's, I mean, I people, I don't know, people may not like to say him, but I mean, for me, you know, this speaks of liberation, you know, and you know, you think about a bird in flight. There's nothing better than being free in the open sky and, you know, not obstructed. Um, so that's why I love it because it's, you know, there are multiple, um, there's a duality, but there's layers, you know. When you think about the place of Manu and the link back to Rokura and, um, you know, he tohu o tēnei mea te rangatiratanga, te mana mutu ake tanga o te iwi. Beautiful. Beautiful. So well, once again, I'm sharing um, some of the corridor um, tonight. You have any? Oh, Karaki Tonga corridor no na na Jamie Rao ko imi na ini onga wila ini onga corridor. Oh yeah, you push all tier to the side. I took a maru and put a hope or come to the fore. No my no my no my. Hey, hey, te poi, he maha ngā, ngā poi uh, mm. o te mōrehu. Nā, kei reira anō ngā, ngā, ngā poi e kia ana ko Aotea te waka ko tohu kākahi te tangata ourunga. <laughs> Engari, ka wai o tia tēnā mō, mō nāia nei. The reserves. <laughs> um, Successions, that's good. Um, so, kei au koe pia himi. Oh, okay. Uh, wahanga tēnei o no tētehi atu o ngā poi. Um, yeah, this is another section from another poi. Um, uh, uh, again, yeah, I think um, if we just look at a quick kind of interpretation rather than something more literal, it really just speaks to uh, the the way in which, um, uh, you know, the tide is... Uh, uh, is uh, the sound of the tide or the tide crashes a, a, upon the mouth of the Waitotoroa River. So it's kind of like a locator type uh, statement that speaks to uh, the connection, uh, uh, I suppose, of the people at the time to, to Waitotoroa River, which passed through the middle of Pariaka. And then, of course, Kei Atohu Kākahi e Noho Neirangi Kāpui, um, uh, direct reference to uh, Tohu Kākahi. Uh, and uh, his his uh, mantle at Tangi Kapui, Tangi Kapui or to others. In this case, it's been shortened a little bit, I assume, through the composition of the poi. Um, but I've also heard uh, uh, people talk about Tangi Kapui as, as, an, as, a, as a name as well. But we'll leave that there. Um, definitely speaks to uh, Tohu Kākahi and his mantle of leadership at uh, Tangi Kapui and Haere Ana Ona Waka Erua. So, um, and that he sets forth his two, uh, I'd say symbols, I like the use of symbol, but his waka, e rua o na waka, ka rau nei te motu, that kind of circumnavigate this, this land. E rua, e rua, ko te whiu poi, ko te riga riga. Yeah? <laughs> so if we compare this, this statement, ko te whiu poi, the poi and the ringa ringa, to the last uh, little, uh, little uh, section of a poi previous to this, we can see again another example of where uh, that through the composition of poi, uh, this this use of this two symbols here, 
and we were on the waka, and we were on the kaupapa. In, in the last one, we used the, there was the use of the symbol of manu, haara te manu ko taku poi, haara te manu ko taku ringa. In this case, kahare on the waka, and we were on the waka, uh, ko te whiu poi, ko te ringa ringa. E whiua, e taia, and so there's a, a kupu whakahau, kia whiua te ringa, kia taia te ringa. Uh, ki ngā kaupapa. So uh, it's just a broad, yeah, kia, kia rongo te motu. Yeah. And so again, another use of, um, uh, in a different way, of course, uh, he mo mo kōrua, kōrua nō tēnei e, e whakāhua ke nei ngā tohu e rua o, o ngā manu e rua, ko te whiu poi, ko te ringa ringa, ko te whiu poi hei kawe i te karere, uh, ko te ringa ringa he whakatina nā e ngā mai. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I probably just uh, maybe just to add to that. Now I'm just looking at uh, those two uh, two waka or two symbols. Um, mm. The few weeks that I felt, I was just thinking about you know they that can bring the message. But I think that when when I'm thinking about the ringa ringa, that's that's almost like the call to action, like to, to mm. you know the your ringa ringa kita pro pro with the So through your, through these words and through these. Uh, messages and also through action, um, you'll be able to uh, reap the rewards. So that's sort of like the two things that's required to probably meet an objective. So that's probably just one thing that I was just thinking about when you were talking about erua ngā waka, erua ngā tohu, uh, mai hia. Yeah, I think yeah, there's I a think... duality and a play on words, you know, uh, like in a practical sense. There were a lot of, you know, ye karongo ya um te kuia moe tautara i roto i ngā re koata tanga hopu ngā kōrero te poe e mea ke nei mm. oh, wiki oki ngā tīma poe and that uh, they would, you know, and that they would they would perform and entertain uh, yeah. I don't know if entertain is the right word but they would definitely perform each iwi uh, uh, would have their own poe team and that they would perform mm. their poe in a way that delivered messages and symbols and ideas and so like in a practical sense they were the big things that were what well, some of the big things that were happening at Pariaka at the time could the viewpoint ko ngā mai aringa so in a practical sense we do he momo kapa engari e e te hohunu te hohunu tanga o te kōrero kai roto i te poe he kupu hohunu a mm. kai roto i ngā mai aringa he mai hohunu <laughs> mm. a poe yeah. <clears throat> tika tina koera koera so, poe so who's mm. Mm-hmm. You know, there were poi for multiple applications and purposes, right? Um, Hene kātu karakia. And, mm. um, you know, as we've discussed, they're as, they're as relevant as they were then mm. today. Um, but I think for me, the instruction within this kōrero is um, pai tunu te kōrero i ngā kōrero. Engari, um, you know, ko te, ko te wakatangata i hene a uatanga. Um, but you know, when you think about it in practical terms, if you're looking to inspire a group of people who have uh, lost their land, um, you know, decision making authority, constantly under pressure from the government, um, you know, it, it requires sort of strong instruction to build confidence, resilience in order to act. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, for me at a practical level today, and it, I mean, it speaks to um, the value of our kōrero tukui'o, the value of, um, you know, those things that speak to our identity um, that we can draw on as inspiration to give our, our this generation and generations to come the confidence to be strong um, within the sort of world we live today. Um Kai kai te whakaaro ake mo te mo mo te horo pake o te nei rangi e pā ni ki te pūwero te te rongo a a rai mate e na koe mm. nā te tihi ko papa ko pēhi i a tātou katoa 
Me, me whai <coughs> wahi peangi e nei o ngā tohu tohu i roto e nei mumo karekia tanga kōrero. Uh, hei a kia ki a tātou ki a whai whai haere i te ara whai o ranga te tangata. <coughs> so was so Tupoi, I was just thinking, you know, like, yeah, kei roto nei he tauira mō te hunga e wā wā nei ngā kōrero mō te wai kōrero. So, you know, mm. you can say, e pari rā koe te tai e wā ki ana mai uh, te ngutu a wā ure nui. Kei uh, hemi sungrin e noho nei ki te aro aro o te aro a. Uh, hāre ake nei, you know, so you can start to, you know, um, and even with the other, you know, there are frameworks here in terms of um, hei tauira mō tēnei mea te whakarākā i te kōrero. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. You know? So templates, say eh? you can use uh, use this as a, oh, yeah. a tawira or as a, as a template or an example to build uh, uh, to build a kōrero. Hmm. And yeah, yeah, Diana, Diana. We might we become a ka noho hei tauru ma te tangata. Yeah, oh well, I don't want to talk it here. Ka pai, no, no, no pai i rau ngā kōrero, uh, ka de kore, uh, kua wakāhu hia mai rā e, e, e te o tātou nei whanaunga, ki te kapo haere nei o ngā kōrero, tēnā kōrua. Ai, well, let's go on to our one. Um... Oh. So te pohi, we thought, you know, ko te, <laughs> ko te, <laughs> just e whai haere rā i te ia o ngā kōrero. So him and I just thought, um, Reflecting on, you know, sort of drawing on some examples within our Karakia Tanga Kōrero, um, Hete Hio Tatau Poi, um, mm-hmm. examples of where our, um, where the references to Manu, right? Mete uh-huh. uh, Tene Mia Te Poi. And so what you see in a number of our Poi um, is the fact, you know, Tena Taku Manu Keirunga Keiraro Keiuta Keitai E Tipi Hekarere. Again, you know, that one sentence really speaks to. Um, you know, the purpose of the poi is being uh, a messenger, a vehicle to share um, to keirunga, you know, keiraro, uh, so south and north, keiuta keitai e tipi, he karere. So, um, again, it instructs us to um, to sort of share the message, right? Um, and kuera. Tipi haere, tipi well, the other thing is the poi weren't the poi were done in, in a very public way. Because the purpose of the poi, you know, they're a ceremonial poi, particular mm. um, purpose in um, tapu and uh, kawa and tikanga. Uh, but then again, you know, a lot of these poi were were very public, and just you know, talking to him's point earlier, um, you know, you tai tai ngai we ne. Mm. So, mm. katai ki te, te kaumāwaru, you know, say so, Paul Paul Kirangi might have come with a particular kōrero and message. Um, our ngā ruahine for whanaung or te morehu of Taranaki would have heard that and thought, well, next month we'll respond. Um, and so, you know, within that context, you see the adoption and adaption, you know, uh, adapt, you know they're adapting sort of um, kupu and kōrero. Um, oh, you, could, you could almost go as far as, um, to say that uh, that that uh, kātu whakataitai day, that kind of uh, competitive spirit was facilitated and a, a foundation and a platform for those teams to yeah. um, to express themselves in their own kind of identity, uh, their own way was kind of um, really celebrated. And there's some beautiful newspaper accounts where Pākehās yeah. were invited to Pareaka to um, to hear and listen to these poi teams. Um, doing this beautiful, beautiful uh, work. And, um, you know, to the extent that they were detailing some of the uh, some of the things that they were seeing and hearing and, um, mm-hmm. you know, what the old kuya were wearing and who the poi masters were and who their leaders were and, you know, the fact that they had painted painted faces and what colour the paint was and what colour their, their, uh, their dress attire were and their, their sashes and what sort of symbols yeah. were on some beautiful detailed accounts in the newspapers for those of you um, that are uh, interested in understanding a little bit more about that around, um, um, you know, when the time was right that they were being performed very, very publicly. And as Jamie said before, there are times obviously where 
you had quite uh, formal uh, ceremonial processes for their application, but there are some beautiful accounts of, of poi being performed publicly. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And so again, you know, this speaks to context again. Um, this particular um, piece is from uh, him, Wakarungo um, Mai, mm. one of uh, Tohu's poi and a poi that was performed by Taranaki Iwi Te Moreu um, and was actually gifted uh, to our Hano at Kite Waiki at the opening of one of the houses. And um, the beautiful thing is uh, the Fano from Kite Waiki still performed this poi today. And mm. uh, when we had the signing at Pariaka, how long ago was that? A few years ago, Katai Mai, Hera Wa Nanga Norutuana Mai Rai Te Awa, and they, they, um, they performed this poi. Um, mm. But I, I love this because, you know, it talks about the bird or the message, the messenger. So it's, again, it's speaking to, um, you know, it's encouraging action. And then, ko ngā karere ha mahuru te rangi, ko ariro atu ki te tohi atu kui kui witi witi ora. Um, and we had a good discussion about um, spring and yeah, um, what spring symbolises in terms of, you know, new life and opportunity and the particular birds that, um, that herald this time of year. And so, again, you know, it's it, it sort of using the metaphor and the characteristics of particular manu and the seasons to be able to speak to new opportunity in life. Um, and then, you know, tēnei te raumati ki te ngahuru, te haere mai ki uea, ki te kauanga tapu i uea. We've, we've just left i uea, so mā koutou e, e wiri wiri, ko i a rā, te rā wāi. Um, Right? So, you know, and then when you think about summer and the warmth that the summer brings, and then you think about Ngahuru, um, that harvest time, um, and what that heralds. Um, so that's some of the imagery and the symbolism here. Um, Hemi, he, he, he called it one more. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, the use of, you know, taku manu kei runga, kei raro, kei uta, kei tai, e tipi he karere, for me, that kind of, uh, uh, shows that the the environment, the broader environment, and way in which our kind of um, bird culture uh, provides uh, different kinds of messages that different uh, that herald different times of the year and tell us uh, uh, so many different things like ngā manu o runga, ngā manu o raro, ngā manu i uta, ngā manu i tai. Mm. He karere, he karere yeah. katoa, and, and we all know this. Our people. How all people look to them for the, the different oh. types of credit there. In this Guidance, case, hey. Guidance. and in this case, yeah. ngā tōu yeah. tōu. in this case, ko ngā karere o mahuru, which tells us mm. that we're emerging from winter. What's the symbolism of winter? Dark, dark days, <laughs> long days, <laughs> cold, you know. Um, and so if we put that in the context of Pariaka, it's talking about um, emerging from the days of darkness. Ko mahuru te hare ake nei. Yeah. And we spoke about the, the katangi te kawe kawe a, katangi te wharaurua, um, ko na tohu kui kui fiti fiti ora, o koia, koia te māra, yeah. taua te kai, tēnei te raumati me te ngā uru te haere mai nei, uh, me o na tohu, you know, um, so again, for me, it talks about emerging from these days of darkness into a new season, into a new time where, um, where life uh, is is uh, is emerging, and so, you know, uh, for me, that's what this poem talks about, and uh, I think other parts of it also talk about emerging, you know, um, from, from from the days of darkness and times of oppression. Yeah, the the outwa, yeah, the moo moo, the moo moo, the moo moo, the yeah, got the port, the kaihari, the ra, you know, yeah. those, those kinds of uh, ideas and messages. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I suppose the word there is uh, hope or new hope in the horizon. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
We had to put a couple more in about the poi to poi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the poi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, boys, okay. What have you done? <laughs> oh, that's why ho, why ho the boy hiki ta haki. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, I mean, he wahanga no te nei ni. Te kota he haora a te rawiki. He wahanga no te te nei o te tahi poi. Ah, he poi te nei no ngati ruanui. Um, but uh, and so just really reinforcing uh, what we've discussed earlier, right? Um, and that's a beautiful quarter, all right, because it's sort of, um, you know, these message, these messages, the this sort of um, this inspiration, these narratives, you know, all of the elements which make up my poi will continue on. Yeah. E, e, e kore e mutu. Um, and then it reminds us, no mua mai, no roto i warekura, that we are just part of that legacy of that. The ancient yeah. schools. So it reminds us that you know the poi draws on these foundational narratives and it was born out of the, these houses of learning um, alongside te ti, te wai, te tokorairape, te, ra, te rape tahuri. Um, which are these sort of ancient games, um, you know, of our tupuna. Um, mm. And so when you think about that, I mean, him, you could probably talk a bit about that in terms of practical elements. Um, yeah, no, not, not, I think you've captured it really, really well. Basically, talks about the origin of the poi, and you're right, the legacy of the poi. Kare no kia oti i tēnei o ka tupuranga. Kurungo noa i ngā whānau o ngā rua ine, kurungo noa i ngā whānau o pariaka, kurungo noa i ngā whānau o ure nui, uh, poi poi, poi poi tunu nei te poi. Um, engari, te ahunga mai o te poi i roto i ene, ko rero, uh, e me ake nei no roto i whare kura. Uh, games, uh, the string, the fight, Nama he fight. Um, uh, and I think the Tokoro, the Rapetahuri, the Tokoro, the puppetry, yeah. Nama he of the fight, um, what are you doing? Um, my, um, oh. Yeah. Tapiri. Tapiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you, you, you think about that in practical terms, right, you know, in terms of, you know, there's, um, there's this, this, the spiritual elements of the poi, um, mm. but also the physical benefit too. You know, we talked about not only the beat, but in terms of... Um, movement. Movement. Body and body 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 development. And, mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so tera tera, and then I just thought we'd better throw something in about the raukura te poi. So, um, <laughs> e rere ngā tēnei, uh, noroto ana mai rā i tētahi o ngā, um, ngā oh. poi, uh, o te witi, you know, and with, I thought of just drawing on um, one that's probably not as well known, and, you know, takoto taku poi hei ara waka mai. Again, right, takoto taku poi hei ara waka mahi mō ngaiwi ki mm. taku raukura e au. Mm. Um, simple but beautiful, right? Hmm. So, you know, the poi again being um, a, a pathway, a vehicle, a waka, uh, to be able to, um, to basically manifest the philosophy and principles of the raukura. Yeah. And, you know, what I love about that is, you know, he nui ngā kōrero ngā mātue ki ana, uh, ki te titiro koe ki ngā poropiti, ka mate te poropiti, uh, ka mate ngā kōrero. Engari, mo te taha ki ngā manu erua nei, 
a kwa kwa mate a tohu rāu ko te witi, kwa ora tonu, a harau e nei taonga. Mm. Hea he rā taonga ko te poi, ko te raukura. Um, and, and that's what I think, you know, it's, it's lovely, right, because although they have departed, um, the philosophy lives on through the poi, and it's instruction for us to take action, and then, of course, you know, te witi's um, philosophy through uh, the raukura. And we've talked about you know, ngā tungi a, a noa he aka te oranga, ngā, ngā tungi a te witi he raukura. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ka, ka takoto te poi, hei, ara, waka mai, speaks to action, yeah? So kind of, mm. it, it relates to the previous uh, couple of slides where ko te ringa, ko te poi, uh, he hara te manu, ko taku ringa te manu, he hara te manu, ko taku poi te manu. Ko tēnei mea, ko te ara whakamahi e whakahau ana i te whakatinana tanga o te mai. I roto i te tohu o te raukura, i raro rānei i ngā, ngā mātāpuno o te raukura. Hmm. Hmm. Good. 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 Oh, no. Te pai hoki o i nei o ngā momo kōrero. I'm just thinking about te whare tāpere o te nau te tī, te whai, te toko rau rape. Um, I remember hearing a corridor around um, when um, a thriving uh, community has a has a whare tapere, so he tohu motiora. Because uh, once a, um, to break down a community, or oh, when a community is um, is breaking down, one of the very first um, whare that tends to uh, be neglected is the whare tapere. Uh, mm. So that becomes secondary to um, to other whare, uh, you know, uh, hapai rākau me e rau ngā momo uh, whare. I'm just, I'm just reflecting on, you know, te tī te whai, uh, so, so he tohu oro anō hoki e uh, So mm. once a society and a community can engage in those types of of, of games and entertainment and te whare tāpere, uh, toi, um, you know you have a he tohu o, mo, mo te a thriving uh, community. So just reflecting on, on on that part of this this particular uh, kara kia tanga kore ro. Well, once what's again, uh, what, mm-hmm. what, what's interesting for me to put here is this might be a little bit contentious, but when you look at some of the old photos of the poi, uh, me te rākau, e haere ngātahi ana i te wākotahi. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, what yeah. I always found interesting was seeing the photos of some of the old, some of the old men um, uh, standing next to the poi group with a rākau. Mm. Uh, and so, um, hāre ngātahi ana te rākau me te poi i te wā kotahi. Now, uh, probably a bit too late in the night for us to dive into why that is. Um, but, you know, I think that's really, really interesting. Uh, 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 what Thing to see. And um, when you consider the, you know, the, the houses, e rua ngā whare, ko te whare o tū, ko te whare o... Uh, you know, Oh, that's right. That's right. So, um, you know, it may have yeah been another vehicle. You know, you had you had the money, the money. You had the money, how to ring the money. So, you know, tie up here um, to look at um, look at the rako as being a um, a messenger, uh, just as as important as the as the point. Yeah. 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 This might be your moment to pui. Oh, kapai. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just um, yeah. context oh, here. He took a he took a namai te tahi pātai i te rāwiki mehe mea oh, okay. he, yeah, hat, hat tātou kōrero o Taranaki mo te ahunga mai o te tangata. Um, mm. So we had a, a partai last week around whether we had particular narratives associated with hiniahuone. 
Um, and we'd had, we had a, this question and um, we had a bit of a huddle, <laughs> in the boy and, and I. Um, and certainly from my perspective in Keo Kōruapea, I mean, um, the, the sort of the, the, the key um, figure within uh, our creation stories um, and the coming of man is Tiki. And um, we had a quarter all last week after the show that, you know, I've and been through a lot of our historical material have yet to see references to Hini Um And so, um, so we just thought we'd pull out a, two or three examples of um, tiki, just to provide some context. So, um, Oh, well, I can I'll probably speak uh, to the um, the list of tiki that we have on the left hand side there. Um, well, I see the like like um, Jamie mentioned there uh, that tiki uh, is seen in a lot of our creation stories. Um, so um, through the uh, the various stages of uh, te kore, um, te po, te o marama, and then uh, the creation of mankind. There tends to be, you know, kotuaina te, uh, kotuaina te po, so ka waiho ki reira, ka tahi, ka timata, te hanga hanga mai rā o tiki. Uh, so I see tiki nui, tiki roa, tiki, and you got all the tiki names there, uh, tiki te pau mua, tiki te pau roto, all the different names. And, and from my perspective, I see that as the development of tiki or the attributes of tiki, the personality of tiki, the growth of tiki. Um, and we have, as you can see on the right hand side, we have other other tiki as well as well. So I think these are various names that are applied to tiki, the human, the makeup of the human being. Um, and uh, tiki ahua Hawaii, um, you know, kita o te akorero, uh, ko tarahanga, ga moi uh, tiki ahua Hawaii, uh, uh, Hawaii ki a taranga, o tarahanga, kita o te um, wakahua, uh, ka puta mai rā, ko te ranga Maui. And we know that um, oh, well, from our corridor that we have Tiki Ahua Hawaii, um, well, married, I suppose, um, a Taranga or Tarahanga, um, according to Aotea Wakahua, ko Taranga uh, ke, uh, tono wahine, kaputa mai rā, uh, the uh, Maui, Maui mua, Maui roto, Maui taha, all the different Maui to Maui uh, pōtiki, a Taranga or Tarahanga. And then from that union, um, yeah, we we have we have mankind. So the descendants of mankind there, um, the progenitor of uh, of humans. So I suppose just to give context, we we don't actually see like um, Jamie mentioned, we don't actually see Atane in there, um, and we don't see um uh hiniahuone in the corridor but they may be in there so i also understand then that tiki could be a personification of tani you know and so tiki also relates to now how, how do i put put this um so we had uh uh keho keho last week and we, we spoke about the um uh female anatomy and then what i'm Tiki here is also applied to the male anatomy. And so, you know, so I can kind of see the tiki, uh, the tane sort of narrative in here, but use tiki not as a substitute, but it maybe as a personification of, of tane and the, and the actions of tane, which brought, um, life uh to to the world so i suppose that's that's how i could kind of wrap wrap our court it all up around um the creation of uh, human beings and uh tiki being the first human being and i, I remember who don't say <laughs> let's not uh celebrate um Oh, so I mean, so I'll just provide some context. Um, the kote takenga mai o te tangata and tēnei te tupuna o te ao. Um, these two are taken directly from poi. So the one on the right hand 
right hand side of the screen, Tene Te Tupuno Te Ao is actually the name of the poi. And it starts Tene Te Tupuno Te Ao ko Tiki Ahua ko Tiki Apo ko Te Ao Iorangi Te Toki. Um, and then so on and so forth. But I think him, it'd be useful for you, to, you know, just in terms of Tiki the form and then, um, you know, sort of the imagery and symbolism here in terms of Ahua Apua. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, as, as the Puhi uh, and Jamie have said, what, we've, what we constantly see are references to, um, to Tiki. Um, that's definitely what I've seen through, um, yeah, through various kind of outputs, really, through Waiata, through Karakia, through Poi, of course, as you say, uh, Jamie. So Tiki seems to feature quite heavily in terms of the origin of... Um, I say humankind, <laughs> um, and um, you know that's the process for the way in which he was brought together. And Tiki was made up. Uh, meaning, kind of, he was fashioned from elements of of rangi and papa, from both physical and and, and kind of um, atmospherical environmental kind of conditions. So, kotiki yahua kote rangi, kotiki yahua kote papa. Um, it's quite a common term that we see quite a bit, and um, you know, from from Tiki, uh, he became the kind of central figure for uh, humankind, I suppose, and 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 that really talks to this term about apua, ka apua te rangi, ka apua te whinua, referencing the fact that um, you know it's been fashioned from from rangi and papa, but also the fact that from 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 this this union. Uh, with Tiki, we have, um, you know, the origin of humankind and um, kei roto i te, kei roto I te ahu ahunga, o te whenua he uwa, ne? he uwa, he uwa kei te papa, he uwa kei te, te rākau, he uwa kei ngā mea katoa. So there were female elements within the, mm. there were female elements within the fashioning or bringing together or emergence of Tiki that have, um, are female elements, but um, definitely, you know, that's not that to say that. Um, well, that's basically uh, we are back with more you know, Kotiki te te ahunga mai te takinga mai o te tangata tu atahi ki te ao. And um, as suggested in this point, Kotiki te nei te tupo nau te ao Kotiki ahunga, fashioned from from um, earth and uh, and other elements and ka apua te rangi ka apua te whenua meaning. Uh, from from there becomes the origins of humankind, uh, which I think is, is, is a, you know is a beautiful thing. And te ra no pe te kore ro e e hanga i na kaore ra nei te hanga ki e ne inga le koe nei nga me a koe te a e tato ne. But you know that's that's one that's one kind of key uh, aspect about um, uh, tiki. And then from there we have uh, you know the whole thing around symbolism and. Um, he tangata whakairo au, and tiki, you know, I'm, a, I'm an artist and a, and a carver, so tiki definitely features uh, quite prominently through um, through the artistic traditions as well, and uh, to the extent that tiki is, is, a, is a key term that describes a, a po or a freestanding figure. And that uh, obviously in reference, is in reference to tiki as the origin of humankind, um, or one, one quarter of... Uh, or a quarter or for us about the origins of humankind. And then um, from there, we also have the Heitiki. Uh, again, another reference to uh, uh, to Tiki as, as the uh, origin of humankind. But, um, you know, kei rotu ngā kōrero ko Tiki Hauora. And so, you know, mm. Tiki is also known as Tiki Hauora. And, and, and yeah. people will know this that are listening here tonight. The, the phallic symbol is a symbol of our life, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, and symbol of life, of course, with, with hum, uh, uh, a female elements as well. And when those two elements come together, we, we get life. So, ko tiki te hauora, he tohu uh, i roto i te hei tiki o te tangata, he tohu no te aura, uh, and um, uh, all of those things that, that that symbol represents. And, of course, um, you know, it becomes a key uh, kind of blueprint for uh, for carvings. So we we use commonly commonly we use the word tiki for a um, you know a symbol, a symbol mm. that's uh, fashioned to commemorate and symbolise uh, people. 
ko te tiki ko atu o Māui Pōmari, you know, um, and so we've, yeah. Um, but, you know, in tiki, as you say, te pohi the fellas, right? So um, so when you think about ya ya te rā mahi, um, ko tēnei mea te ora, so... Um, Mm. Well, it speaks to um, bringing life to this world. It speaks to fertility. It speaks to mm. the way in which they, you know, the procreation. Yeah. Paiana, paiana, tēnā kōrua. Well, I think we've uh, uh, we've touched on the the areas that we were discussing last week. Uh, so himi mm. ahua, uh, that were called Jamie uh, Apua, tēnā kōrua. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've come... Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I did notice, I suppose, I was just thinking about the the word ahua gets used quite a bit behind names like Tamahua, Maruahua, Tiki Ahua, Hawaiki Ahua. So it's almost like the image of Tiki or the image of of Tama, the image of Madu. And so um those are actually uh prominent also in our um in our courted also. You know, it's just another um, probably discussion point we can uh, we can have uh, another week, <laughs> four week. Well, you know, I say here, kupu waka mutunga akorua. Kaore atu i te mihi ki te iwi, mihi ana ki te iwi. Yeah. Uh, we'll go back to our first slide and we can, we'll close our, um, we'll close our, our session of uh, tonight with the first slide there, uh, the Tikori Mako, Mihi Kawaki Raki Koto Katoa, and now Hapa Tatu Mara Akito Pito Waka Okamutunga Oto Tatane Hotaka, I Mihi Kawaki Raki Koto, a Kaanaki Te, a Mataki Taki Mai, Waka Longa Mai Koto, a Kahaki Te, Tuhi Tuhi Mara Koto, a Korido, a Naya Note Mihiate, a Wiki Kahoki Mayano, the Manako Nui Yaka Pai Huaka Faitake, any Onga Korido. E waka kapa yake, a nei tātātou nei uh, karakia tanga kōrero. Yahura, yahara te, yahara te manu, ko taku poi te manu, yahara te manu, ko taku ringa te manu, whānau ki reira titi ai, i whānau ki reira keti ai, i whānau ai ki reira tūtū mai ai te manu ati pūra tangata mātua i a tāne tahu, nau mai ki a piri, nau mai ki a tata, e hai, e rongo he waka i a ki runga, tūturu waka mau ki a tīna. Tīna. Hui ye. Tai ki. Tai. Tēnā tātou. <laughs>